Yo, what is up guys? So today I have a pretty quick video. I'm gonna be showing a really important optimization fix that I did not know existed until today. And I am someone who's done a ton of research on optimization. So I am shocked at how like not widely known this is. But this is gonna be really important for like tabbing in and out and like maintaining consistent performance. Um, because basically what's happening is your GPU, um, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, I guess I should have said this only applies if you have an NVIDIA GPU. Um, if you have an AMD GPU, sorry, this video is not for you. Um, so if you have an NVIDIA GPU, basically what's happening is there's two states. There's power saving and there's maximum performance. And basically the default state for a lot of programs is going to be actually like adaptive, which means that it's actually going to force it onto the power saving mode, which is going to cause input lag. It's going to down clock. It's going to cause stutters. It's, it's just awful. Like when you, when I tab out of my games without this fix, it's, it's horrible. Like even when I tab back in, I will have stutters for like the next like several seconds because of this. Um, and I, I thought it was not fixable. I thought it was impossible to do anything about it, but no, you actually can fix it. But yeah, it is actually fixable. So I am also just gonna go ahead and quickly cover like your global 3D settings. Um, this isn't gonna be like a super comprehensive uh, optimization guide, but yeah, I'll cover just a few things in NVIDIA control panel, basically everything that you need in this program at least. Um, I do recommend that you do other optimization stuff and I will be trying to put out more content related to that. I, I do just wanna say just before I get into this fix, um, if you are here for Apex, watch this video that I have. Um, I'll have it linked. Specifically this second half, like the first half is, um, might help, but uh, not as important. This second half is really, really important. If you have a higher refresh rate monitor, um, especially if you have a higher refresh rate monitor and then have low refresh rate monitors, like secondary ones, that's like, this is gonna be absolute game changer. So once you combine this with the current fix, um, like it's gonna help a lot with feeling smooth. All right, so moving on. So we're gonna go to manage 3D settings. We're gonna go to global settings. Um, so just I'll just go over briefly what each one kind of does. So image scaling, I have a video on that. Um, but basically, if you want to play on like a lower res, um, obviously you have this on. And even if you want to play on native res and you just want like a nice sharpening filter, have this on. Is it's it's literally zero performance hit and it's pretty nice looking sharpening. Um, turn off everything anti-aliasing. Uh, well, application controlled for the mode. That's fine. Um, but these two had them off. This one had it off. Um, and these traffic filtering. You can do, this is personal preference, um, but it, it does have a small performance hit if you have it on. Um, but yeah, you can keep it application controlled. You could force it off if you don't want it on any applications. Um, or if you want like, you know, like 4X, that's like a good like balanced performance and visuals so that will work with pretty much everything. So that can work. Um, if you want, you can set background application max frame rate. Um, so like that way it's not like, you know, using as many resources if you tab out of your game, like walk away or something. Um, or like if you play like MMOs and you wanna like, um, you know, like auto path to a destination or something um, without like burning your computer, you don't wanna have that. Um, but you can also set that as specific to applications or you can set it global. Um, so I, I, I don't recommend having a global one because that might cause some stutters. Low latency mode won't matter with any game that has reflex like Apex, COD, uh, Overwatch, Valorant, a lot of games really, but um, anything that doesn't have reflex, this will help. So have this on ultra. Max frame rate. Um, so if you want to cap your frames, I would actually recommend using Reva Tuner solely because you can actually adjust it on the fly. With NVIDIA Control Panel, you actually have to completely restart your game um, each time that you make a change here. So be aware of that. But in terms of the actual, like how good they are, both of these frame rate limiters are better than in-game because they provide more consistent frame times. So um, if you do want to cap your frames, you could do it in here. But I recommend just not capping frames in any game. 
Um, so OpenGL running GPU, um, it's, it's probably gonna be fine, but just go ahead and select your actual GPU. Like, I don't think it actually matters um, if you have only one. I think it's more so an issue if you have like an integrated one as well. Um, but just go ahead and select yours, just to be safe. Um, so this, this is what I was talking about. This is our, this is our most important thing right here. So this is really, really important for um, the next step for the actual fix. So set that to prefer maximum performance. It's normally gonna be on normal. So normal basically means that it's allowed to switch to power saving whenever it wants. Whenever, like, whatever logic is deeming that your PC doesn't need maximum performance. And by the way, um, just to be clear, it's not like it's actually like actively running max performance, right? Like I'm not doing anything. My GPU isn't doing anything, right? So it's not like it's like running your GPU to the ground or anything when you have this on. All it means is that it's not going to be in the power saving mode. So if you do play a game or do anything that like is actually using your GPU, it's going to be able to use the full capabilities. It's not going to be limited. But it doesn't mean that we're forcing it to be like constantly like using it for no reason, right? So don't be worried about that. Like there's really no actual downside of this besides like you will use more electricity. Like that's just how it works. Preferred refresh rate, set to the highest available. Shader cache size, you can leave that on driver default. You can change it to any of these if you want. Just be aware if you do change it, you will have to rebuild your shader cache in Apex, but just leave it, it's fine. Um, this one, Anisotropics. So Anisotropic sample optimization, leave that on um, or turn that on. I'm not sure if it'll be on by default. Negative law bias, you want that on allow. Uh, texture filtering quality, you can set that at high performance. It honestly doesn't make much of a difference. Like I've tested and I, I can't notice any visual difference between high performance and quality and it also doesn't really make much difference on uh, performance, but you may as well just set the high performance. Um, try linear optimization, have that on. Threaded optimization, change that from auto to on. Triple buffering, um, I don't recommend ever using vSync, but if you do play a game that like, you cannot turn off vSync for whatever reason, like it's just a pain in the ass and it won't let you turn off vSync, or for some reason you want to use vSync, like there's a few games that um, have in-game frame caps, but you can turn on vSync and it will just override it and allow you to do a higher frame rate. So, um, like have triple buffering on just in case, you know, there's some issue that causes vSync to happen, but we should be forcing vSync off. So this should be preventing vSync from happening. And this option, I'm not sure if you will have this option in here. It might only be in here because I did something to enable it, I'm not sure. But if you do have it, turn it off. All right, so that's your global settings. Um, in terms of like Apex, COD, pretty much like any game I can think of off the top of my head, there's not really anything you need to change in here. So you can just leave that global. Um, like there might be a few games where you might wanna, you know, set a specific frame rate or something. So you can do that, but all right. So moving on. So this is gonna be the actual, this is the fix. This is the actual fix. All right, we're gonna add Windows Explorer, DWM, and a couple other programs. All right, so we're gonna add Windows Explorer. So it should take you to Windows, and you're just gonna, you can scroll or you can type it, explorer.exe. So you can order pretty much everything, except that on this, it's gonna be default set to NVIDIA recommended. So that means it's gonna be able to set it to the power saving. So basically every time that you're tapping out of your game, it is now considering Windows Explorer to be the active process, which means that it is now going to put your PC into power saving mode, which means that you're gonna have a stutter. So you don't want that. So we're gonna change that to use global setting for maximum performance. And we are going to hit apply. And it's actually gonna go ahead and it's gonna show you NVIDIA recommended, but that is wrong. If you click on any other setting, you will see that it did go through. Um, so don't get confused by that. I did get confused by that for a little bit. <laughs> um, um, so next we're gonna add DWM, desktop windows manager. So we're gonna go back to windows. I'm gonna go to system32 and probably just gonna type this, dwm.exe. Same thing, it's gonna be on NVIDIA recommended by default, set it to global setting. 
apply. See, it does the same weird behavior there, but it's all good. Um, now we're gonna do steam. Same deal. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and set this with um, pretty much any other programs you might have open while you're gaming. Um, so any like Internet Explorer, like whatever Internet Explorer you use. Um, I'm pretty sure Chrome will actually use your global setting. Yeah, so Chrome, Chrome doesn't have the... So basically, what we have to do this with is any program that is going to be defaulting to NVIDIA recommended, um, which uses the power savings. So anything that automatically uses your global, you don't have to mess with. So Chrome, for instance, automatically uses your global setting. Um, OBS, same deal. So um, next, Windows Shell Experience. So that one, um, I'm actually not sure where the EXE is, but it just shows up in this list. You probably, you shouldn't have to browse for it. It should just show up in the list because recently used, like you're always using this, right? So it should show up. Um, so same deal, maximum performance. NVIDIA control panel actually as well as this, but I don't think it really matters because you're not gonna be probably opening this during a game. But if you do ever have this open during a game and you don't change this, then yeah, you're, you're kind of fucking yourself over. So yeah, may as well set this for NVIDIA as well. Um, any others? Uh, if you have Cortana installed, it might show up in here. You should set it for that as well. I don't have Cortana. I have like forcefully disabled it. I've disabled that feature, but if you have it, you should, you should do it as well. Um, so that's actually going to be it, I believe. Um, I think Firefox and Internet Explorer might need it. I'm not 100% certain though. So go ahead and check those if you use them. I don't use them, so I'm not going to bother. So that is going to be pretty much it for the video. Now, I do have other optimization stuff I do want to share in the future, but this is, um, yeah, th this video has run more than long enough. So I'm going to end this here. Um, hopefully this helped you guys. I mean, it will help you guys. Like, I know for a fact it will. So <laughs> hopefully like you notice it. <laughs>